it's a family business taken over from your dad. And we grow um, iceberg lettuce, uh, cauliflowers and broccoli. And it's a growing business now with the two boys on, on the farm. So it's looking good. There's a lot of challenges being a farmer. You've got weather, you've got prices, droughts, floods. Back in the old days, you just uh, you threw everything at the pest, at whatever you could buy off the shelf. It was spraying on, a, on like a seven day or five day basis. Just, uh, you know, unfortunately if we needed it or not, we'd just go out and spray it just, just to be safe. But, you know, we're really just pouring money down the drain. IPM stands for Integrated Pest Management. All IPM is, is trying to use the three methods that are available to farmers, which are biological control, cultural control and chemical control in a compatible way. Biological control, which are the predators and parasites of the pests. Cultural controls, which are anything including variety that's uh, selected or irrigation or tillage, you know, things that the farmer does as a manager and then chemicals. So what we try and do is develop a strategy where chemicals are the support tools and biological and cultural controls are the mainstay of control. The parasitic wasp that we've been releasing is, uh, is pretty well restricted to a diamondback moth. It can only live inside the caterpillar of a diamondback moth. It occurs naturally in Werribee and all we're doing with this strategy is increasing the numbers that are around before there are a lot of pests to act as its host. We were introduced to poor horn and we didn't think it, it would work. But uh, we done a trial for about six months, 12 months and uh, we never went off it. Jason and Anthony have been the first to use this on a, on a full scale for the course of an entire cropping season. The benefits uh, for both of them, uh, there's a, a saving in the cost of chemicals. We approached Bayer when we'd done a couple of years of small scale testing to see if they were interested in, in doing a full scale test. And so we were able to achieve what we think no one else has um, elsewhere in the world. Traditionally, uh, the approach has been pretty heavy handed on pesticide usage, so this is a good way of reducing some of that usage and actually uh, putting some stewardship around the resistance management side of things as well. Uh, so that was pretty much where we came into things and uh, with our marketing capacity and also our ability to uh, promote this across the industry, that's been our strength and that's been our offering to, to, this, uh, to this program. Uh, we estimate that in the next 12 months we'll have between 10 and 15 percent of the industry uh, looking at this strategy and, and implementing it in the field. It's important for me to uh, pass on the farm to Jason and Michael because they've made that decision to come on the farm. But I've just got to make sure that uh, they follow it through. Hopefully I'll take over and keep going with my brother. Just seeing what you're doing, like watching stuff grow, that you know that you're doing that, your inputs, you know what it's created, and just kind of got stuck in it and enjoyed it, and just stayed here ever since. Bear, science for a better life.